In this video we are going to demonstrate the assessment of the 8th cranial nerve, namely the vestibulocochlear nerve. Enroll in our online course now, link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The vestibulocochlear nerve is a specialized sensory nerve for hearing and balance. Auditory screening is commonly done with the RIN test and Weber test. A systematic review from 2018 by Kelly et al. revealed diagnostic accuracy data for both of the tests. The RIN test had a reported sensitivity ranging from 16 to 91 percent and a specificity between 50 to 100 percent. For the Weber's test, the authors report a sensitivity ranging from 18 to 67 percent and a specificity between 33 to 97 percent. The studies included were too heterogeneous in the technique they used to allow for pooling of results, so the clinical value is at least moderate. To quickly assess the auditory component, a simple test is done with the patient in sitting position. Cover one of the patient's ears at a time. At around 60 cm distance of the open ear, whisper a couple of numbers at the end of exhalation and ask the patient to repeat them. Repeat the procedure with the other ear. 76, 69, 69, 87, 87, 94, 94. In case you observe deficits, RINS test and Weber's test are performed. For a RINS test, the patient is in sitting position. Preferably use a 256 or 512 hertz tuning fork. Strike the tuning fork and place it on the patient's mastoid process. Ask the patient to indicate once they no longer hear the buzzing sound. The fork is then immediately moved in front of the patient's external auditory meatus to assess whether they can still hear the sound. Yeah. Normally, air conduction of sound in the second step should be greater than bone conduction in the first one. So the sound should be audible in the second step, even when it had subsided in the first one. For Weber's test, place the tuning fork in the middle of the patient's forehead and ask them whether they hear it louder in one ear or in the middle. In the middle. Okay. Quick assessment for the vestibular system could be to observe the patient's eyes for a nystagmus after they maximally turn their head to one side. More sophisticated tests include the Dix Hall Pike maneuver, which is a popular test in BPPV. You can watch our video on this test in the end card. All right, you can check out our video on the Dix Hall Pike test by clicking on the thumbnail on the left. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel and to leave a comment down below. It helps with the algorithm. Also, if you didn't know, we have an assessment ebook, mobile app, and online course that you can check out in the video description right below the like button. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in another video. Bye.